Hi friends. Today we're talking about investing, specifically how $1,000 will do over the course of a year with the robo-advisor Elevest. Hi, I'm Sarah, also known as Budget Girl here on the internet, and I believe that you can meet all of your money and life goals with the aid of a budget. I make videos every single week on how to manage your money, pay off debt, and live the life of your dreams on less. If you like earning interest instead of paying it, go ahead and like this video. And if you'd like more videos like this that will teach you how to invest and grow your money, go ahead and subscribe and join the budget family. So I've been doing research on investing since I finished Baby Step 3, my fully funded emergency fund last year. And I have to tell you, it was pretty intimidating. I never learned really about investing in school and certainly had no experience doing it with my own money other than in a very old 401k that was supported by an employer and currently a teacher's retirement account. I have avoided talking about investing on this channel because I was really scared to give bad advice or lead you guys in any way astray. However, I now feel like I've done enough research and experimenting with my own money to bring you along for a little bit of the journey. So for this video, I am doing a challenge with $1,000 of my own money and we'll get into that in a second. So the money I'm investing in this challenge is extra money for me. It's money that I'm using to build wealth outside of my normal 15% retirement contributions. I am investing in mutual funds, a Roth IRA, a teacher's retirement account. I have an old 401k that I've rolled over into managing, and I'm also investing in stocks, bonds, and some other things. The money that I'm using for this challenge is not going to break me. If I lose it, it is simply another way for me to build wealth. So we're going to get into all of my investments and how I learned to do them and how you guys can do them too in another video. But for this one, just starting out, it's a fun challenge. This is a $1,000 investment challenge that I'm doing with a whole bunch of other YouTubers who are honestly a lot more experienced than I am, which I consider to be good company because I will learn from them and so will you. This project, which is called Grow Your Dough, is led by Jeff Rose, also known on YouTube as Wealth Hacker Jeff Rose, and he's pretty amazing. What's cool about this challenge is that everyone involved is putting $1,000 of their own money into some form of investing and leaving it there for a year. We're not adding to it. That way we can just track and see how a single bit of investing performs throughout the year. This will show us how all sorts of different investments, robo-advisors, individual stock, other investment opportunities with all of their associated fees and challenges and risks stock up over the course of just a little amount of time, one year. Because we're not investing beyond the original $1,000, it will be very clear to see kind of who wins. And I don't expect to win by the way, but I do expect to make some money and we'll be able to see how everything performs and possibly give some insight into where we want to invest next. So I chose the robo-advisor Elevest for a couple of reasons. The first being that no one else in this challenge had chosen them and I was interested to see how they would stack up against some of the other robo-advisors and other investment opportunities that people are putting their money in. I'm also definitely a set it and forget it type of investor. I don't plan on going in and trading stocks regularly or really messing with my money too much. I plan to make good choices at the beginning and then letting it ride. The second reason that I chose them is that Elevest is women-centered investing. And considering that my analytics say that 95% of Budget Girl viewers are women, I thought this would be a cool place to invest. So they're a little bit different from some of the other robo-investors out there because it's a woman-led company that tries to plan their portfolios around a woman's career So did you know that most financial advisors are men? Actually, really old men. <laughs> no offense to old men. So the investment industry is centered around men's salaries, preferences, life expectancies, and career paths. Women's salaries tend to peak at age 40, and men's don't peak until age 55. Women also live longer than men. It should be obvious that we should invest differently with different risks at different times than the average, which is set to a man's career. So LFS charges 0.25% to manage your money for you, which is pretty on par with a lot of other robo advisors. And they also have no minimum to open an account. Some online robo investors require you to have 
$10,000 or some other crazy high number, which is A, not very accessible for people who don't have that much money lying around to invest, and B, would not work for this challenge. So I started this project a little bit late, but let's be honest, I run a couple of weeks late just as a standard on this channel. <laughs> Throw back to how to improve your life this year video that I posted in February. Essentially, I like to research things into submission and am very slow to pull a trigger on anything, especially involving money, which has served me very well historically by just being able to see how things kind of pan out before I put in. So while everyone else started on January 1, I didn't invest until the end of January. And for some reason, my deposit didn't go through until February 13th. So I'm behind. But by waiting, I did get an email offer from them having started the process of signing up earlier in the year for $50 free with any investment amount. So I figured that either pays my fees for two years on $1,000 because that's 0.25% or nets me a 5% return this year already. Good start. <laughs> my return so far since my deposit hit has been $11.27. My portfolio is made up of 59% stocks, 39% bonds, and 2% ETFs. And you can see here exactly what stocks and bonds the robo investor chose. So let's walk through quickly how I set up my account here. It took me about five minutes, which I know because I screen recorded the entire thing. It had me fill in some basic info like my name, zip code, income, and job info. Then had me fill in some estimates about my other investments and asked me about my goals. It offered me options to open up a 401k, 403b, an IRA, or to save money for something like a house, kids, an emergency fund, starting a business, or a vacation. My goals are to build wealth and buy a house one day, so I selected those. It calculated some approximate numbers for how much I might need to make those goals happen, but for the purposes of this experiment, I'm just putting $1,000 into a BuildWell account. It showed me the possible outcomes I might have with different risk levels. I chose a portfolio that was 5% more aggressive than the standard one, and also chose to invest in socially responsible businesses. Even though it would cost me a few dollars, I believe it's important to put my money towards things that I believe in. After that, I just linked my bank account and made the deposit. For you guys who are in the correct baby step, time, place, and mindset to invest, I wanted you to be able to get the same deal that I did, which really reduced my risk for the first couple of years. So I reached out to Elevest and they worked with me to get you guys the same deal that I got, $50 free with any investment at Elevest when you create an account and deposit any amount. Full transparency, if you use the link below, you will get $50 in your investment account and I will get a small commission. I'm gonna be doing videos throughout this year, checking back on this investment and reporting how it's doing. I'm also really looking forward to watching the other investors in the Grow Your Dough Challenge check on their money throughout the year. And who knows, if someone is just doing amazingly with the program, I am signing up. <laughs> So for instance, Justine from Debt Free Millennials is also using a robo-advisor, Betterment, but her portfolio is balanced very different than mine. She, I think she has like 90% stocks, so I'm very interested to see how hers is going to do in comparison to mine. So Joseph Hogue from Let's Talk Money has chosen five dividend stocks that he's invested in and is going to track throughout the year, and Jeff Rose, who started this challenge, has invested in eight or nine different it might even be 10 different places and he's tracking them all throughout the year. Everyone I mentioned and everyone doing this challenge is also going to be linked below. It's gonna be really interesting. I would love to know if you have any experience with robo-advisors and if you have any tips for me. Thank you so much for watching this video and I will see you next time.